So we were going to be using Avonix batteries. What I really like about these Avonix batteries is I have a bunch of them. Uh, the truck we're running today, we're gonna be running the two 3S together and making 6S for the uh, Vitavon rig. But what I like about this charger is it's really easy to use. So these are 3S batteries. Here are 4S batteries. So um, how easy is this charger? Is that you plug it in and we're gonna hit start. And it wants to tell me which one I wanna do. Do I, and you preset these numbers. So there we go. Now we are on the 4S. So we're gonna hit start, hold down the start. We're gonna do a battery check. We're gonna hit start and boom, this one's charging. But we're gonna go ahead and take these two 3S's that I have lined up to make 6S. I think in the future, we're probably gonna go ahead and grab smaller 6S's and run them parallel. Uh, very possibly some smaller 4S's. But this is what we have right now. So let's get back to that crawling we were talking about. So Okay, for all you naysayers, we're gonna admit the digital gauge is a bit better than what we are gonna do, right? So let's check out some of these spots on here. So we're not, we're all aware. So here's our first tire dip spot. Here's level. So this right here, 33. How steep's this one? 43, 40, 63 degrees. Um, this one's pretty much all the same. It's kind of throughout in between 40 to 50. Um, this rock is straight up sideways. No, no misunderstanding there. When we're climbing this, we are definitely right at a 90 degree angle to get that tire up. So straight wall, um, tree, okay, where the tire's hitting the tree. Um, how about this block here, there's 80, 80, this wall here, 80, 80. I think mean, when we got over here, it was pretty steep too. So this is how big this ledge is. So you, get, you make sure you're seeing what you're seeing there. Yeah, that's pretty far over. <laughs> this is this is flat. So we actually got a little bit of an underhang there. Um, these rocks, 32. When the front tires are digging, here it is, running it here, here, here. So everything's got a pretty good size slope on it. Um, even like these pieces right here, still got a little angle pitched in on everything. So, um, here we go. Pretty wet conditions, but we are gonna go ahead and uh, get in here. The truck is definitely really loud. It's got the uh, outrunner motor in it, but what we're highlighting today is definitely gonna be the foams. Here's our feature and uh, these are the pillows. These are slick concrete. And we are trying to make our way up to that dry spot for some traction up top there. So we're gonna give her a little bit of a bump. Oh, there we are. That's where we're trying to get to. Now, we are definitely up on here with our foams, drag brake. What we're really highlighting is trying to get that traction, even in the wet. Ooh, ooh, just lost it. Okay, that's okay though. As you know, we don't want to run in. Oh, there we go, it's starting to settle, there we go. We want it to settle with some pressure. There we go. Ooh. There it goes. Now we got some pressure down in there. We want to get that front tire up over the edge so we can crawl with it on the top edge. So I don't really like jamming the gas. I want to get where I'm not jamming the gas and just pulling the weight of the truck.
There we go. There we go. Now we're in there. Again, I'm one-handing it, so it's a little difficult. Uh, oh, I'm sliding backwards with no traction. What we want to go ahead and do is get up in there. So we want a little tire compression just to lock us into that top spot there. There we go. Driving one handed. It's hard. So now I'm stuck back in there. So now we got to kind of reconfigure that move. So we want to come back over to this tree and just start all over again. So we're actually just trying to get that thing to roll right past that corner. Okay. So granted, I'm trying to do this with like one hand, which is definitely someone else's skill set. There we go. RC hop-up wheels really holding me in there. This is the Vitavon um, portal rig. See, my portals are about to hit under there. So I want to pull back and just get the rim getting me up in there. So I need to get that tire to hook. So I do believe a lot of it is about momentum. And uh, I watch a lot of one-to-one -one videos. If you guys ever watch West Desert Wheeler, he's really big on the one-to-one -one stuff. And I really enjoy that about that. Shout out to him. Um, and let's go ahead and get the rest of this climb going. Okay, so we're gonna have to give a little bump here. A little bit of a bump. But I would say she works pretty good. What do you get when you get in the package? You're gonna get these perfectly round foams, how big they are. Here's your packaging right here. Uh, works great. Works great, the 2.9s, everything you got going on. So uh, this is what was climbing in there, you know? And look, you can see it's still, still nice and wet. Like this is, you can see where I just smudged that across with my finger. So this is definitely climbing in super wet conditions. But so for all the, for everybody seeing about what the angles are, this is wet, smooth concrete, all angles above 45 degrees, up to 90 degrees, climbing, digging in, and uh, definitely conditions that aren't ideal for crawling. I feel like a lot of times you want to crawl in perfect conditions. I want to create a product that can pretty much work in any conditions. If it's going to be raining, it's going to be wet, it's going to be dirt, it's going to be rock, it's going to be sand, whatever it is, Steady Farms are here to perform. Um, but let's go ahead and get to that farm truck. I'm not going to hold you guys back any longer. It's pretty wet out here, as you can see on the ground. The rocks are shiny, but we're going to go ahead and attempt this climb, the pillow climb. These are concrete bags that... Uh, got rained on and we brought them out here as building supplies and obviously you can see that there's already mud and dirt and this is all wet trucks dirty
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about anything going on with either one of the builds, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll make sure to respond. As well as if you would like to check out some steady foams, go over there to Etsy. You also can find them at Nankin Hobby, Asheville Hobby, RC Hop Ups. And of course, you can eventually just buy them for me if you want to. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for commenting. And uh, glad you enjoyed the rigs. See you on the next crawl.